I think as a consultant, it's very hard to think what my title is because it should help the customer. Mm -hmm. It should be saying like, what, how do I help the customer? You know, it's, this is a service job, by the way, not many data people think like that or data engineers, but it is a service job at its heart. Like you should be serving uh, not just the product, but like really customer service. Yep. Forget the title, solve the problems your business yes. wants to solve and then Help your business. Yep. See the title solutions are basically requires all of those yeah. skills. That and was my, my title when I was in consulting. <laughs> solutions architect. Yeah. Yeah. I was a solutions yeah. architect. A solutions engineer, but a lot of people think that's pre-sales these days. Cause that's, that's what true. Like, yeah. Oh yes. Because a sales engineer, is that what they call yeah. it sometimes too for the pre-sales these days? Mm -hmm. Let's see. We do, we need more data libraries. What True. data engineers to get raw domain knowledge efficiently. And That's a new thing, by the way. We have so much to learn about librarians. That's true. The Dewey, the Dewey, the Dewey, the Dewey decimal, decimal implement system. the Dewey decimal <laughs> system. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> uh huh. For those not aware, that was the uh, the library org for organizing books yeah. back in the day. These days, they probably it's all digital. But back in the day, for the young cards. people in our audience. Uh -huh. <laughs> books. And then uh, Robert asks, does this data engineering crunch benefit or harm independent consultants and contractors? So I'm, I'm kind of curious your, your take on that. Uh, you know, how is the consulting business in, in data engineering? And, and do you think that's getting better or worse?